Hey, this is Angelo with Farlap and Associates, appealunfairpropertytax.com, where you never pay a percentage to fight your Cook County property taxes, and our company is five stars everywhere. You got to check it out. Um, and this is going to be your Friday the 13th gift, given appropriately late at night, a little more scary. Um, the 2020 second installment property tax bill for Cook County homes, that's Chicago and 30 miles around it, all the way up to Evanston and Winneka, all the way west to Barrington, all the way south to Calumet. The bill was delayed. It was supposed to be here July 1st. The reason it was delayed is the Cook County Treasurer, the agency responsible for printing the bill and collecting the money, um, was waiting for appeal decisions from the appeal agencies. Um, there's a couple places you can appeal your taxes each year, and there's actually a third that's in Springfield, but we discourage that. Um, we can tell you about that in another video. But um, basically, um, We've been telling our customers that this bill, the good news on this bill is that for most homeowners, 98% of everyone in Cook County, they're gonna see a reduced property tax value compared to the year before because it's gonna reflect COVID-19 relief. Now, the only group that this might not ring true to is the people below the city of Chicago, and here's why. Every three years, the county gets to raise your property tax value, and if you watch some of my videos, I'm sorry, some parts are gonna sound repetitive, but it's important. Um, Picture Chicago and 30 miles around it and you cut it into three slices of pizza. North of Chicago, the city of Chicago, and everyone below the city of Chicago. Every year, the county puts its finger on one of those three and says, boom, I'm screwing with you this year. We've been warning our Chicago homeowners that 2021, it's their turn. Um, next year, Northside, 2022, okay? Um, uh, the year after them, back to the South Side and round and round again we go, okay? What we're seeing in Chicago is absolutely disgusting. It's heart-wrenching. It's just unbelievable. There are increases like I have never seen before. I'm not going to get too much into that. I'm going to show you how to get your tax bill that's online um, as of uh, the last 12 hours. We had to make sure that it wasn't going to get taken away because uh, that causes a um, <clears throat> bunch of headaches, if you can imagine. Sometimes they put data up and they pull it. But um, it is there and it is real. Um, yeah, the increases we're seeing in Chicago, two areas have already gotten it, Rogers Park um, about a month and a half ago, and more recently West Township, which is Wicker Park North Avenue, and still open for appeals until the 23rd. You got 30 days to fight the value when you see it. If you miss it, you got another little chance six months later uh, at the Board of Review, and we'll talk to you about that in a minute. But um, the increases are 60 to 85% for most homes in West Township. Unreal. They're calling up and asking me if it's a typo. Um, we did a 53 minute video on our YouTube channel where I'm going up and down 15 pin numbers in a row, one house right to the next, to the next, to the next on the assessor's website. You can just up in the URL, you can just change the pin number. Two of them had over 150% increase. Um, I'm going to show you a, a glance at one before we go here. And, um, two little houses squeezed in between apartment buildings, a 203, the smallest class, second smallest class there is out of 15 classes, all homes go into. One went up 60,000, four doors over, three doors over. It went up 300,000. It makes no, no rhyme or reason. So um, now um, these tax um, values are wiping out the COVID relief that the assessor gave in 2020. Um, the, the, the lower values that are on the bill that's arriving in the next day or two or at your bank, they're going to get wiped out and put right back up to whatever they want. They will not hit a bill until next July. You got one year to start saving because they warn you. Again, if you don't pay the tax bill directly, you're probably not going to see the warning. It's going to go to your mortgage. They're going to shoot a three-pointer with it right into the garbage can. They don't care because they don't pay it, and they're just going to skyrocket your mortgage. Um, it is going to drive the middle class out of Chicago if the other remaining areas get it as bad as West Township. Um, Lakeview is the one I'm really worried about. Um, they are from, from history, the trends show that Lakeview usually gets it the worst. Um, on our YouTube channel, uh, if you click the videos tab, you'll see all of them not just the first six. Um, there's a 116% increase from 2018, the last reassessment. I was walking around Lakeview and um, same owner, 10 years, no construction. Taxes went from 10 grand to like 22,000 in one year. Um, if that's in your mortgage, that means that's gonna raise your payment a thousand bucks a month. Insane, uh, people can't afford that right after COVID. I know a lot of my customers are hanging on to one income or um, barely um, or, or still trying to find a job and um, it's tough. Let's get back on point. I'm gonna show you where you can see your 2020 second installment tax bill. And at first I'm gonna show you the shortcut if you just wanna know the dollar amount. Let, just, let me just tell me the amount. Um, Cook County Property Info is that shortcut. And you can also see 
um, a five-year history. So you kind of kind of need to see what's been happening. So Cook County property info looks like this. When you're here, um, if you want to download the real bill, you're going to need your property index number. So I would start here anyway. You can type in your number address, the street name, and the city for get zip code. And I'm going to show you that right now. Um, also, less is more. This is a random Chicago house I was looking at. 5849 64th. Now, I'm not going to put the TH. I'm not going to put street, place. If there's a street and a place, don't worry about it. They'll both show up on the next screen and you can choose the right one. Um, city of Chicago. Press search or click enter. Um, there you go. See, there's a street and a place. Okay, I'm going to choose the street. Now, uh, real quick. Uh, every year, the two agencies, the assessor and the board, the board is usually the, the more rewarding. Um, the, 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 they're better at saying yes. Um, and last year, um, about four or five months back, at the tail end of the old cycle for the last year, uh, 2020, we saw a lot of denials, which was unusual for the board. And it took, us a little, little, it took us a little while to figure it out, but we did. What happened is after the assessor and before the board, the assessor went through and granted the COVID relief to all the homes, 98%. And I think uh, it's our theory um, that when the Board of Review saw, oh, you got that, that's good enough. You know, no additional relief. And in some cases, the, the, the reductions were rather significant um, in the property tax value, and it usually will lower the taxes. Here's the disheartening thing. Now that I've got this tax bill in our hands, I've been poking around Chicago homes only, and it looks like the trick with the July bill is even with the same value for three years, they get to pick a new tax rate, a new equalizer, and they get to mess with your exemption values. Homeowner, senior, disabled person, whatever you get, they get to pick them all right before the bill prints based on your local township budgeting, you know, and how much the schools and libraries need. Um, and it looks like those things, now they can normally raise you 50, 100 bucks a year. When it's severe, it can be 1,000 to $1,500 more in taxes, even with the same value for three years. The only way you can get your value to go down in a three-year cycle is if you start fighting, and I hope you will after this video. The only way it can go up in a three-year cycle is if a building permit or construction comes through. So avoid building permits at all costs. Um, this little house, um, what's nice about this website too is you can see a five-year history on the value, like what it was and what it's going to. Now, um, a little something weird is here when I click the history button right here. Let me show you. Um, this is AV, assessed value. Take, take a look that assessed value um, right up here is just missing the zero on the market, the, the property value. AV is 10% of the value, okay? So when I click this little history button, I'm gonna add a zero behind all these numbers and I can see, mm, I think I might've screwed up again. <laughs> I'll shoot myself. Uh, no, I think this is it. Yeah, this is it. Okay, sorry. So this house um, went down from 2019, um, I'm going to add a zero, 207,000 to the bill that's in the mail, 2020, um, 187,000, okay? So it came down 10%, almost exactly, okay? 20,000 off the taxable value. Sounds like a lot, right? Drop 10%, 207,000 to 187. Did the property taxes drop 10%? Again, probably not because of those three things. This is what's so sad and disheartening. I'm gonna scroll down. I'm gonna show you his five-year history. Here's the quick answer to your question. How much is the bill that's in the mail? This little blue button over here to the side. You can no longer see the first payment, but it happened six months ago. I'll show you where you can see it on a different site. But that first payment six months ago, plus this one, um, Oh, let's see if it shows it there. No, it doesn't. Okay. Plus this one is the total for the year right here. Okay. Look at what he paid last year with 20,000 higher value. He paid 3,508. And with his reduced property tax value is reduced by 20,000. His taxes were 3,497. He saved $9. His taxes went down $9 with COVID relief. Uh, again, technically, the, the reduction was there in value. This sometimes happens with our customers who win appeals. Their value goes down, 
and it should have been um, in that neighborhood on, on the, um, in the city of Chicago, every 10,000 in value is about $200 in taxes. So that should have been about a $400 reduction. Um, it was a $9 reduction. That's sad. It, it's those three items, tax rate equalizer and the exemption values are eating the COVID relief, most of it. And that's, that's disheartening. Um, on top of that, adding insult to injury, the crazy increases that are happening right now. So um, you can see the exemptions you got over here when you click on this column. Um, a one is usually homeowners, two is homeowner senior, just for living in the house and being 65. A lot of seniors say, oh, I don't get the senior, I make too much. That's the senior freeze, that'll be a three usually. When you click on it, you can see what it's for, homeowner exemption. Now, the senior and the senior freeze need to be applied for every year, except the last one. It comes out around February, and it's applied on the July bill, the one that's in the mail right now. Um, in February, they said, don't worry about the form this time. We don't want to open up COVID envelopes. And they said, whatever you got in 19 will automatically be there in 20. So they should be. Now, if you're a senior turning 65 in Chicago, you've been dreaming about getting on the freeze, our advice would be let us check it first. All the flyers you get in the mail, and you're going to get tons because of these crazy increases. Also, I'm like, oh, if you're a senior, don't call us. They don't want to bother with seniors. My mom was a senior. Um, we love seniors. You want to let us check it first because if you're in West Township, you're probably freezing a 50 to 85% increase, 60 to 85. Don't think that's real. <laughs> um, it's not blowing smoke up your butt. It's not, you know, um, exaggerating. This is our YouTube channel. We chop prop taxes. Um, please subscribe. The first video is one we did today, um, overnight actually. It's 20 minutes long. If you don't think you got 20 minutes to spend, I'm gonna be honest, if you live in Chicago, you're probably gonna lose your house a year from now. I'm not joking, and I didn't say sell your house. You're probably gonna lose your house because you cannot keep up with the tax burden and or nobody's gonna wanna buy it a year from now when the taxes go up 80%, like it's happening to a lot of people. The video one over, I'm sorry, I point the wrong way because my camera's reversed, one over, um, this one, that is the 53 minute video where I go up and down 15 pin numbers and see crazy increases. Two of them were over 100%. Um, next, I invite you to join our private Facebook group, Cook County Property Tax Watchdogs and Pissed Off Taxpayers. Um, we started this a couple months ago. There's 500 members almost. And um, down here, you will see um, that a little larger thumbnail. That's the 53 minute video. 508,000 up to 1,410,000. Um, I found two of them within 15 digits of each other. So it's not a typo, it's real. Um, we'd love to have your business. Um, to get your actual tax bill, to see the actual printout that you can take to the bank, Chase Bank um, is usually where you can always pay it. You can also pay online with a checking account for no fee. Um, and uh, you're gonna put your property index number in here. And let me show you what it looks like. Um, so you're going to need it from that first website, the Cook County Property Info, um, dot com. Okay, well, you, you can jot it down right here. You're going to need it on Cook County Treasurer to get the bill. You got to click this little thing. I am not a robot. Oh, these are fun tractors. Okay, you like tractors? Tractors. Uh, my eyes are getting bad, and I'm tired. Uh, now here on this page, I think it's going, oh, it's gonna give me the green light. I don't know what it's doing. It's probably uh, gonna be very busy, this website. <sighs> okay, I must have done the tractors wrong. <clears throat> More tractors, <laughs> tractor, tractor, tractor. You guys are watching too, so you'll know if I'm crazy or not. Okay, green light. Continue. Okay, a lot of cool things you can do here. Um, you're going to see some information. None of it's private. All taxes are public record. It's your um, right to see what the neighbor pays. It's his right to see what you pay uh, under the fair tax laws. Um, this is 5849 West 64th Street. Um, here are the blue March bills and the yellow 
second installments for each year. This is 19, and this is 20. Um, I'm sorry, this is the 18 year, build in 19, the bills come a year later. This is 19, build in 20, and down here at the bottom, these, this is the recent one, the yellow one, bottom right. Um, this is 2020 installments. The blue one was here uh, six months ago, back in March, more than that now. Um, and this one is the one in the mail. When you have these two bills, you can add them together, this amount and this amount. And I'm going to try to zoom in here for you. 55%, you can automatically predict next March. Um, it used to be 50% and about eight years ago, they raised it to 55. There's no other math on that blue bill, okay? So um, you can predict next March and, and it's still gonna be a nice low tax bill. In July that follows that one, that's when the crazy new values that are happening now um, are gonna hit and, and that's when the chest pain's gonna start, no joke. Um, and they're gonna want it all at once on that bill, that second installment alone. So um, if you scroll down here, you'll see the download your 22nd installment. And when you do that, I'll show you what it looks like. You can actually see the bill, here you go. Um, and it is due October 1st. I'll try to show you that. But scroll down here and check your exemptions. Homeowners, senior, and senior freeze print on there automatically, but you got to see money next to it to make sure you got it. The homeowners in the south side of Chicago looks like it's six ninety-five sixty. Okay, um, goes through a tax rate and equalizer, and these are the things that. Um, sorry, I'm trying to slide over there. Tax rate changes every year. Um, the equalizer changes every year. Now you want to see something interesting. This tax rate is six point nine percent. Markham, the last time I checked, was paying 24%. They do this to get similar money out of homes that are worth a lot less. And it's the opposite of take from the rich, give to the poor. Nobody knows it until they see a video like this. And if that pisses you off, I'm sorry. Do something about it. You know, don't just keep shelling it out. Now, in regards to that statement, when you start appealing your taxes, you still got to pay the tax bills no matter what. Um, when you get reduced, sometimes you can go back and get three years of refunds. But just because you're fighting or to start fighting doesn't mean you can hold on paying the bill. Um, the bill due date, it's down here on the bottom. I saw it. Uh, actually, I think I saw it on the stub, the second page here. It's right here. Due by um, October 1. It's just off on the left, right above my picture there, October 1. So, um, yeah, uh, this is really, really uh, disheartening. Back on this website, you can get a 20-year property tax bill history. You know, you can click this little link right here, see your complete history, and it's kind of cool. Um, it's a lot of neat stuff you can do. You can see what your taxes did, you know, um, 20 years ago. Make yourself <laughs> sick. So um, that's the moral of the story. Uh, my mom always says, you can bring the horse to water, but you cannot make it drink. This is me bringing the horse to water, our website appealunfairpropertytax.com where you never pay a percentage to fight your Cook County property taxes. Again, the company's five stars everywhere. Facebook, Google, Yelp. Um, again, all the way up to six unit apartment buildings. Even some mixed use. The couple apartments above a storefront. If the property class starts with a two and you'll see it when you're on your house on the assessor's website, it's covered under our low flat fee. If it starts with a three or a five, it's commercial industrial. Oh, and about that real quick, I got a special announcement. Scroll down, this was added today. We do do commercial appeals and the industry standard is 25%. Commercial is seven units or more. Two to six units, it's still under our flat fee, it's still residential. Commercial is seven units or more as far as apartments or a, a storefront, a uh, industrial building. Um, those things are commercial and it's 25% of whatever they save you, okay? Uh, it's 25% of the first year savings. Sometimes the savings will last up to three years. When you do it in the first year, sometimes it's good three years. Um, if you do it in the middle year, it's good two years. In the last year, it's good one year because every three years they raise you again. Um, some people have vacancy. Um, and the rule of thumb, a basic ballpark ratio I'll give you on, on, on commercial. If your property taxes take up more than 25% of your income, your income being your rents, it's fair to say you're probably paying too much. You should let us check it. Um, 
for just this weekend till Monday, uh, Sunday at midnight, we are reducing our 25% um, to 15%. That's a 40% reduction in the normal industry standard. Um, it, when you have commercial property, it also um, includes refunds. Sometimes you get three years of refunds. They're called certificates of error in the agreement. Um, we, we get 15% of that also, um, and everybody does this. Um, commercial appeals are much more complex. They're much more time consuming. There is a link right here where you can um, download our agreement. Um, I'm sorry, you can sign it electronically and we can have you in and ready. Um, again, if it's six units or less, over here, our flat fee, there's a little sign them up button over here, okay? But if it's true commercial in Cook County, you can sign our e-signature. We're for 15% between now and Sunday at midnight, okay? So that's another Friday the 13th gift for you. Um, glad I remembered to mention that. Um, what else? Um, ta -ta 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 -ta. Um, our office, again, is collecting dust 12 months. Um, COVID, not safe to open it yet with thousands of customers. How it works plus our guarantee. Happy customers. Um, video testimonials, tons of happy people. Um, I've mentioned this in some other videos. Sorry again if I'm being repetitive. Little Filipino lady saved, got $5,000 back in refunds. Um, she brought pork adobo for the whole office. Um, tons and tons of happy customers. Uh, this one is very outspoken. Uh, talks about a bow and arrow and some profanity. Uh, um, this guy brings a new friend to the office every time he, uh, every time he comes in. Sorry, I'm totally losing my voice. But um, yes, Real increases. Um, this person, 89% um, increase three years ago, back on the last reassessment, and uh, we got rid of all of it. And then he was only a couple feet away from a lower property class. He had an appraisal done, and we got him into that new class. And then we got him down like another thousand something dollars in that class. Um, so yes, do nothing, you get nothing. On our homepage, you will also notice there's a free evaluation form at the bottom. You will notice my business card over there in my title. Uh, property tax <laughs> kicker. Family business, we, we, um, we occasionally use profanity. Um, our customers prefer it. We took a survey. Here's the free evaluation form. We are a little backed up right now, almost two or three days, because our phones are ringing nonstop until about 8.30 p.m. When we try to call you back, we pick up the phone and we answer another call. Um, I'll give you a little tip. If you want an evaluation, now if you got a 60, 70, 80% increase, um, again, let me show you where you see that. Um, cookcountyassessor.com, mouse over appeals, calendar and closing deadlines. This is when your area is going to get hit. Only two have been hit, Rogers Park and West, open until the 23rd. Um, the border review is coming four to six months from now. That's the better agency. Um, there, um, you have to, on the residential side, our flat fee, you have to upload your own file. At the first agency, we can actually file it for you. It's our premium service. It's a $99 add-on, and you can read all about that on our Sign Me Up page. The other townships, looks like Jefferson's next, Western to Cumberland, TBD, to be determined, okay? Um, Hyde Park looks like it'll be last. Guess what? Dates are subject to change. They can move Hyde Park, uh, Hyde Park to the top, and it could open tomorrow. If you come back in 30 days, you've missed it. So you're screwed with another tax bill. The other townships all down here, some are open, some are closed. Um, you you want to get in now and let professionals watch it. Um, at the um, Board of Review, you need to be an attorney or you need to um, represent yourself. Um, here's a little fun fact too. If you put your house in an LLC or a corporation, you lose the right to represent yourself. I think that's totally wrong because you can represent yourself for murder and you know wh why do you have to get a lawyer for help on property taxes? Um, at the assessor, we can... Um, represent you. We have a representative code um, and it, hopefully you'll get a reduction there and sometimes you come out fair and then there's nothing to do six months later at the Board of Review. You can skip it. Um, if there's 10 grand out there, maybe we get you five. There'll be 5,000 remaining for the Board of Review and um, we'll put you in touch with someone that will help you. Um, uh, uh, you know, there's, there's 1,100 people that do what we do and I only trust a, a very small handful. So um, if it needs to go to the Board of Review later, we will refer you to a good one, okay? Thank you, have a nice day, call your mother, tell her you love her. Um, the private Facebook group, Cook County, Property Tax Watchdog, Pissed Off Taxpayers, the, face, um, the YouTube channel, please join it. We chop prop taxes. I brought the horse to water. 
can't make it drink. Good night, and happy Friday the 13th.